Hello, and welcome to today's interview. Today we have a special visitor known as Suzanne Collins, the author of the Hunger Games trilogy. Tell me, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Glad to be here. How are you? I'm doing great. So before we get started, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, if you haven't already heard, I'm the author of The Hunger Games. I grew up in Connecticut, but moved all over while growing up because my father was an Air Force officer in the Vietnam War. Currently, I live back where I was born, Connecticut, with my husband and two kids. Sounds great. Now tell me, what has influenced you most to write these novels? Well, first off, the time period I grew up in during the 1960s and 70s was very influential. The culture around me, such as segregation and feminism, when I was little, all influenced me beyond belief. I can imagine. Please elaborate. Well, first, the feminism influenced me to write about strong female lead characters. I wanted to disprove the historical belief that men are better than women through my novels. During my childhood, many women created feminist groups supporting equality, equality to women. Also, the segregation influenced me to write about inequality and how it's unfair. That makes sense. So you mentioned your father was in the service. How has this affected you? Well, as seen in many of my texts, the main character, Katniss, explains how her father has passed. Growing up, I worried much about my father passing away because of him fighting so constantly. This made its way through my story because her father has passed. Now, I understand the topic of new historicism is big in the day. Explain to me, what is it and how has it affected your text? Obviously, my personal experiences and the culture I grew up in affect me and leak into my writing. I believe that personal experiences can affect the biases each person holds. Right, right. So what biases do you have? Well, one person can't really find their own biases, but once you read my text, it isn't hard for you to find them. Well, it looks like it's time to close up, so thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.